They keep coming. How many are there? Something's not right. We should get out of here. Come on, guys, this way! Trapped. Any ideas, Ash? Just one. Get Jasmine somewhere safe. I'll handle these guys. You'll go no further! For her sake, I will not fail! Is it over? No, there's still... What the hell? Jasmine, Ash, get out of here! to escape wait what are you saying run away I can handle this <laughs> Marona I'm sorry Marona remember that your parents love you. 
Oh God, just once more. Lend me power, one last time. Sacred power, bless our passing. Miracles, chartreuse! So, those bodies back there must be your doing. Ha! Huh. Is that all? Now it's my turn. <laughs> Bless me, incarnate Dark Eborius! Not yet. It's still not enough. Huh. I'll need far more dark power if I'm to exact my revenge. Morona. What is it, Ash? Huh? Those clothes. She had no right to do that. I don't care if she was the client's granddaughter. Hmm. Don't worry. Those clothes were too small for me anyway. It's much cuter. They didn't even pay you the full amount. Why didn't you say anything? Sometimes you have to speak up. How can you say that, Ash? Morona, even that little girl called you the possessed one. There's something Mom and Dad used to say when I was little. They said, people will judge you because they can't understand your gift. But don't hate them. You were blessed with that power so you can help people. Grow up compassionate and kind. Help even those who hurt you. Then one day... One day, everyone will come to like you. Right? You don't think it's more important for me to make people happy than to make money? Well, they weren't exactly happy either. Don't worry, Ash. It's like my parents said. One day... Morona, who lost her parents at age five, turned 13 years old this year. Morona lives here on the island, and still holds on to the beliefs which her parents instilled in her. As for Ash, though Hayes' last breath allowed him to avoid death, it was not sufficient in granting him life. Trapped between life and death, Ash exists now only as a phantom. Wait, Morona. Um, let me check. Hmm. 
More insulting letters. Why won't they leave her alone? What do they say, Ash? Um, they were both the wrong address. Again? Why do so many sea males end up here by mistake? Looks like this one's the only job offer. It came in the emergency bottle, so the client must be pretty well off. Hmm. We're going to... Terra Firma. Just make sure they pay us in full. Once we have enough money, we can make an offer on this island to Sienna. Yep, no more worrying about higher rent or being evicted. It will probably be a while before we can afford to buy the island. But right now, we need to help the people of Terra Firma. Yeah, I know. But we're Chromas, Morona. There's nothing wrong with expecting our fair share. Your parents worked as Chromas to raise you. Thanks very much. Would you mind taking this rent money to Sienna for me? Ash has watched Morona grow up and kept her safe from harm. As the only survivor, he felt it was the least he could do. Morona has inherited the stigma attached to her parents' abilities. Ash vowed that he would always protect her. Chapter 1 a Jill of all trades.